So we came out this morning to do some milking and we had a loss last night. Oh no, we lost two. Oh, great. That was one of my leg horns. And this one is, I don't remember what time that is. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm talking about. Nope, they're not. They look like the tan ones. So, not actually sure what caused this. This is our first loss since we bought these chickens. So that takes us from 25 down to 23. These are not the Leghorns. These are the other breed. I, maybe Isa Browns, I think. Isa Browns is what they are. So, I'm gonna get rid of these and move on to the rest of chores today. So we came out here to the back of the acreage to Take the hay out of the back of the van and put it into, or the straw rather, and put it into the barn. And the ground's still wet. We're stuck. We're gonna have to maybe dirty our car mats trying to get this thing out. Try it. I guess we should get the hay off first. Oh, okay. I think you should have dug a hole before you did. Woo! <laughs> Somebody's chicken got out. Crossing the road. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the mailbox. Look, there's another one over there. <laughs> Alright, so we're on our way home from the store. We had to go out and get some feed and some additional supplies. We lost probably about an hour and a half with the van stuck in the mud. So, I had some big plans for today. I was going to possibly start on the chicken tractor build, which I was recording for you guys to show you um, how I build a chicken tractor. And I don't think that we're gonna start on that today. So we are almost home now with our stuff. Be unloading the van, we still have to move the goats and get the barn ready for uh, them to sleep in it tonight. That's gonna go 
one side. So I'm headed out to the barn to get it cleaned out so we can get those goats inside it tonight. They'll have more room to run around. They won't be stuck in those kennels anymore. With the exception of Holly, she's going in the one of the big kennels at night to keep her separated from the adult goats so she's not stealing their milk and we get all of it in the morning. Alright guys, so I made it out to the barn, get ready to clean out. A little bit of stuff we told the guy he could leave here because he said there was nothing wrong with it. And then found this. So inside this tractor tire, uh, which I specifically asked the guy, is the tractor tire contaminated? Because he said, what all can I leave? Because I said, take anything that's contaminated. He said, well, some of this stuff is the metal for the building, like for the roof panel, some of it's the metal right there for the, uh, the sides and the walls. He said, none of that's contaminated, that stuff's good. So he said he could leave all that behind. I said, well, that's great because, you know, if we get any holes or anything in the barn and, and even some of the damage the raccoons have done, we can take this stuff and patch it up. I asked him specifically, how about the, the tractor tire? I said, my son really wants to keep that. He wants to leave it um, as a goat toy, for especially for the baby to play in. He said, tractor tire is fine, it's clean. So I come in here today after he said everything's done. Get inside there and there's a pile of raccoon poop and what appears to be his respirator laying right on top of it. So I don't even know what to think about that. Like, did he put the poop in there thinking he was gonna take the tire? And then I said, don't just leave the tire and he forgot about it. I don't know what happened, guys. So there it is, third thing today that has not gone as planned. He did an awesome job in here. I mean, he left nothing. <clears throat> this thing is squeaky clean. I mean, those are my footprints from when I was just walking, but yeah, he's cleaned this whole thing out for us and sprayed it all down with DSV. So we are, yeah, we had a pile of raccoon poop over in this corner. So we are looking a lot better. So Travis said he's coming over tomorrow? Yep. What'd you tell him? I told him there was a mound of poop in the non-contaminated tire. <laughs> so what did he say? Does it, so she called the uh, critter control company, made a complaint. He said he's never had a complaint about this guy before. Really? Yeah. I, so I, <laughs> I'm wondering, I'm wondering if he just, because we told him at first, trash everything. We said, throw it all away, we don't want anything. Well, when I came back in, he was like, look, I'm not trying to not throw everything away. He's like, but you got some good stuff in here. Do you, are you sure you want me to throw it all away? And I said, well, if there's some things, and this is after he's already been, he had, at this point when he was telling me this, babe, he had already cleaned off all the poop in the barn. He'd already been through the whole barn. And he said, are you sure you want me to throw everything away? And I said, well, cause he said, you got some nice metal here. You got some nice stuff for the, the barn. I said, well, what, a, you know, I, I guess if it's not contaminated, it'd be fine to leave behind. I said, what about the tire? And he said, the tire's just fine. <clears throat> I said, all right, well, my son really wanted the tire, so let's leave it. So maybe he, he forgot, for maybe he forgot. Yeah. But. That he, he, we already told him throw it all away, so he probably thought, hey, this thing's got a nice little scoop in there. Let's just throw some of the poop inside. It'll hold it. I don't know. I don't want to think anything bad. I looked in the shed, baby. It looks amazing. He's, oh, really? it looks like he even swept in there. It looks wow. so good. So I don't, I don't want to assume that he did it on purpose. I just think maybe because we had some change of plans halfway through that, that, uh, you know, it, he, maybe he forgot. So we'll go with that. We just weren't expecting to go in there and see a pile of poop. We thought it was going to be safe and clean. Yeah, so I said this is the third thing 
today that has not gone as planned. We walk in, we find two dead chickens. We go out to the barn to drop off the straw. We get stuck in the mud. Now we go into the barn to clean it out and we still find raccoon poop. So three so far. The day's not even over yet. I know, I'm ready to go back in and pretend it's Saturday again to start playing video games and... Yes. Yeah, exactly. See, they're down. Let's just start all over. Let's act like it's Saturday. Yep. Chalk it up, guys. <laughs> Number four. Okay, so we're trying to clean out the dog cage now. Right back here because they ate another dog's poop. One of our other dogs. They ate his poop this morning and then barfed it all in their cage. In the kitchen, out of their cage. Everywhere, okay? That, that should be number four, but it's not even number four. That's not even number four. We're gonna count that as normal because they do that kind of stuff. I, we come out here to clean it, and our hose, I just put it right here, right here this morning. Well, apparently it was too close to this gate. The dogs have taken it all the way out in the yard now. And I, it's one of those hoses that stretch, you know, they have seen on TV, they get longer as they fill with water. And they're pulling on it right now. It's probably got holes all in it. I mean, and that's both of our hoses. Like, yeah, that's both hoses combined. That's all. That's I don't even think we have any more oh, than yeah. that. <laughs> hey guys, why don't you wind it up before you bring it in, or otherwise the dogs are gonna think you're playing tug of war. I wanna watch them turn it on, and make sure it works. Yeah, and then we're gonna have to try filling it up, <laughs> make sure it holds water. <laughs> this trash can has a cat. Yeah, you probably shouldn't be on that. Yeah, you're going to really mess up that trash can like that. Get off, Bray. You're denting it and making more holes in it. That was just the toy holder, right? Uh, before you spray the, the cage... Yeah. Spray the dogs first. No, move the blanket yeah. so I don't have to carry them inside soaking wet. Mm. The cage and the black tray needs wiped down. Or and you should turn on the hose. <laughs> it's not on. You're using... Compressed water that's still stuck in the hose. So far, are we seeing any leaks? I don't think so. I'm impressed if it's not leaking. But it's not fully on yet. Like, it's still what? stretching. It's stinging. It always does. Sometimes it will turn off, sometimes it won't. So everybody's in their PJs today. It's Sunday, but we did church online because of the C virus, so nobody had to get out of their pajamas. I said C virus. C virus. Never heard that one. I'm gonna go with that. We're gonna have to flip that over too after you spray the top. Wait, did you fix it? Did you fix it, Fix what? Fix what? See, there's still poop right there. Oh, there's a leak. No, it's coming down on the top. Well, the good news is it doesn't look like the hose is leaking. So, the dogs may have played tug of war with it. Absolutely, they pulled it out in the yard. And they love to do this too, this is great. They climb up the rock wall and go down the slide like they're children. They do this on their own. Drop they're out me. here alone. This and they're doing it. Yeah, let, show everybody on YouTube how these guys will just climb the rock wall. And there will be no one in the backyard and they will... <laughs> nice. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> I'm using my little squirter. Oh, oh, it does. That smells terrible. Oh, oh, that smells good. I don't want to be over here. Oh, that smells good. Oh, I still haven't turned it yet. I'm being very lazy. But you're supposed to get it wet until you see water running out the bottom. And we haven't been doing that either. Okay, someone else is going to have to hold this for you because it reeks. It smells delicious, doesn't it? Oh. Yep. Mm. It smells like Turn money. Up. First Turn up. soap. Turn up. Right here. Right here. Kiss my boobie. Kiss my boo boo. Right there. Yeah. That's that good. Better. Kiss out feels better, duty. Yeah. Duty, duty. Oh, yes. Are you crazy? Oh, that's so disgusting. Don't worry, buddy. You're just the target. I have my sword. Stop. That was my boundary marker. Now you know that these logs belong. Hey, what happened? It's green. Come on, Holly. Come on, little princess. Come on, Holly. 
good, Holly. Well, okay, now you guys want to come up? All right, the new paddock is ready. So now we're just going to, well, I still gotta move over the energizer and we're getting the water bucket filled over, but the actual zone is ready. So tomorrow morning after milking, my wife and the kids will bring these guys out to their new zone. But I just wanted to show you something. So here's where they've been for the last couple days. You can see the grass is all trotted down. I mean, they don't eat everything, guys. Despite what people tell you about goats, they left all these tall standing yellow plants up in the air, uh, but they have been in here. They're eating a lot of stuff. They're leaving us fertilizer for the future generation of plants. And uh, gonna leave this pasture better than where they, than better than how they found it. So I'm gonna come through with the mower and clear off everything they didn't get because they won't eat it all. But I just wanted to show you guys this. So again, here's where they've been for the last few days here's where they're going so you can see the difference they make I mean they're gonna take all this stuff and turn that into this and they turn it all into goat's milk which is amazing cart. the gorilla cart yes I could not do this all the way back there back to the barn yes. that's way back over that hill well, as we keep going through all these areas with these paddocks, we're just getting further and further out away from the house. You'll have to carry that water back. So we did buy a gorilla cart, guys, as she was saying, which despite our normal nature, it did have a P65 warning on it, and we went ahead and bought it anyway. Now, we did call the company, or email the company, rather, and ask them about the warning, and they told us that it is specifically for the tire valves. So the warning, the P65 warning is on the tire valves. I'm like, I would wash my hands if I was filling up the tires anyway. I'm not worried about it, so we're gonna keep it. Now, had it been on something like the cart, the, the basket itself, or something we'd be putting the buckets of milk into and things like that, then that would be a problem for us because we wouldn't be able to touch that and then milk, because then we'd be contaminating, potentially contaminating our food. So we don't like P65 stuff. We've made a few compromises here and there, but we try to stay away from as much as possible. You're not gonna be able to move those posts. I'm trying to roll it. You can't move those posts. Those things probably weigh as much as you do. Well, I wanna roll it. I'll that. just carry it. Huh? I'll just carry it over. Quick, quick, quick. I want Rob All right. Alright, we'll finish this up here. Gotta get these posts over and then get this bucket of water wow. staked into the ground. Tell everybody why do we have giant like posts <laughs> in our paddock? Because the baby likes to jump on them. The kids are very active. Goat kids. We only have one right now, but she thinks it's a lot of fun to use these as a balance beam to walk across them. My ears. All right.
That's it. We're done. No issues with the fence. Yeah, so we didn't make number five today. Mm -hmm. We had four issues. This did not make number five. It did start to hail a little bit. So that almost became number five, but we kept working and the hail went away. So four things didn't go as planned today, but the fence, the fence did. All right, guys, that's it for today. We're gonna wrap this up. If you uh, like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. So you won't miss anything as we post it. Give us a thumbs up and uh, we'll see you in the next one.